Hello beautiful beings, this is Maru Matu and you are watching Sun Soul Astrology and this is a daily planetary translation for March the 14th, 2017 and hopefully you made it through the last two days all good. Um, this has been a really big self-claiming of the light or the dark for everybody so hopefully that you've made your last decisions and the death of your shadow self has occurred. So that only the light is alive right now because basically that's what this is all about we are going through the master degrees of pisces once again today the sun is at 24 degrees so we're in the last week of pisces okay and then the sun is going to be reincarnated into aries right and mercury just stepped into aries and we are getting a glimpse mentally what this is going to look like so, with that being said, let's talk about a couple of the aspects that is happening today. Oh, I do want to mention something quickly before I move on, which is the Peace Dealer and I are doing hour-long readings on March 26th, and we only have three spots left for this month, okay? So, if you want to book a session with the two of us together at the same time, go ahead and click on the show more button below and book your appointment, okay? Because they are almost finito. Now, okay, we're going to talk about Mars trining the north and the south node of the moon today, okay? This is going to be happening actually until tomorrow, the 15th. And so what's going to happen whenever Mars trines the nodes, okay? So if you're unfamiliar out there, the nodes are the north and the south node. These are karmic connections to the moon okay the north node is a representation of where you need to head in this lifetime your south node is a representation of where you come from in a past life okay so the south node is presently as a collective in the sign of pisces saying that we come from source right our north node is in virgo and so this is why we've had the eclipses on the virgo pisces axis this is why we had such an explosive full moon two days ago is because it's this axis that's really trying to teach us these final lessons before we move on to the leo aquarius okay now with this being said mars is at three degrees of taurus whenever this trine begins to occur and this is a supportive energy that Mars and Taurus is talking to us about. So I will be reading Mars at three degrees of Taurus today. It's a beautiful degree. It's something that we can all take a very big um, lesson from. Mars is our passions and our desires and how we move forward in this life. So this is what we need to do to import some new information. Yesterday was a tough degree for Mars. And so, um, we need to we need to really 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 um how do i want to say this stop entertaining our shadow sides okay stop entertaining our lower forms and we're really going to get a huge dose of this today as well because jupiter is going to conjunct the moon and this is jupiter retrograde at 21 degrees of libra so we're also going to read this degree because it's going to cover jupiter retrograde it's also going to cover the moon and so once again with the supportive energy of mars trining the north and south node we are being supported by going deep inside of ourselves to discover where we come from in our past lifetimes and who it is that our past incarnations chose to be this time okay so that the final pieces of our puzzle can fall into locking place and form the overall picture okay this is a huge huge thing that we need to do and now let me just say that the sun is conjuncting chiron as well today exact at 24 degrees and it's interesting because um there is just so much going on <laughs> There is so much going on, right? And so the sun is going to illuminate and just burn away all the last pieces of the Chiron wound and the sign of Pisces that is holding us back. You know, as Marvel Girl pointed out again yesterday, it is time to just donate our shit to the cosmic goodwill. 
I'm glad that the reminder happened because absolutely, you know that Cosmic Goodwill is open for business with Saturn at the Galactic Center. So let's just toss it all, you know what I mean? Let's just pack it up and send it off because it has no working function in the now. And as well, I want to actually touch on this real quick, okay? If you're not familiar with the Mayan calendar and what the nine galactic tones were about, I would highly recommend checking that out because as we know, Quetzalcoatl was a reincarnation of Thoth or a continuation of the same incarnation in a different location. Let's just say it like that. Now, these nine galactic tones represent consciousness evolving. Okay, so how fast are our thoughts manifesting? Right now, in this present day, we are past the Mayan calendar and we are manifesting our thoughts every 28 days, okay? So whatever you're thinking about is really coming to life at lightning speeds, okay? So this is so important. And as well, let me just say that whenever you live in integrity, it is not anything that doesn't happen on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. This is how diligent you have to be. It has to be working every second of every day, functioning 24 hours a day. Your integrity doesn't get even a second off, okay? There's no time, no ability to feel sorry for yourself, to be victim to anything. Whenever you are in ultimate integrity, it is ultimate integrity. It is mastery, okay? And these degrees right now, this session that we're going through in the planetary evolution is us going through our initiation and our indoctrination. And this is what I've been talking about, okay? This is why a few weeks ago, all from the beginning of Pisces season, I brought in to the whole picture of everything, the Emerald Tablets, creation stories, the, the diligence, Okay, the diligence, it's intense. We have to remember that we cannot use sacred knowledge to be bullshit about it. Okay, we have to use sacred knowledge to be of the utmost and highest of the light. Okay, so let's get into this degree for 24 degrees of Pisces, where both the sun and Chiron are wound, our wound in connecting back to source is. Okay, so collective sun, a spring festival. The participants are in a state of ecstatic frenzy. Inward explosions, the pressure valve goes off. You sit inside collective and ancestral frequencies of doubt, insecurity, and suppression until this can no longer be. The frenzed edge of new worlds and ancient accumulation of old worlds. Coming to that point where the inward power overthrows from constraints, scatters semblances, and finds something magnificent that has been untapped and forbidden for so very long. The final spark ignites, releases, and reveals. What was lost and forgotten is more than ever and not discouraged, never put down. This is an interesting degree. I really love it because it's like, Sometimes we don't learn unless something has totally destroyed us, okay? So this is kind of what that's about. Like, this is all Chiron and our sun, right? So this is like an inward explosion, and the pressure valve does go off, okay? And if this happens to you, then let it be the final time, okay? Let this be the final time that you blow a motherfucking gasket, okay? Detox all of the anger and the rage and the victimizations out of your soul, okay? Just explode, let the power pressure valve go off in order to cleanse and purify, right? Because this degree has a turnaround and, an, and a beautiful end of the story, right? Because you sit inside collective and ancestral frequencies of doubt, insecurity, and suppression until it can no longer be. Okay? So today is really kind of saying that you might have to open up to a momentary dark soul of the night. night dark night of the soul. I'm dyslexic. Whatever. Um, so you might have to feel this to the point where it's finished. Okay, this might be the final hurrah of anything that was left over and resonating in you. Okay, the frenzied edge of new worlds, 
the ancient accumulation of old worlds. And again, you know, this is what we are birthing right now, but in reference to every accumulation of lifetimes that we've had in the past. Like we have all the right information, we have all the knowledge, we have all the tools. It's just that we haven't been accessing them properly because we've been thinking that this third dimension is actually reality. And we haven't been recognizing that the people in our lives, they're set up, okay? This world is a setup. And it's not to breed um, paranoia. It is what it is, okay? And so if you are a conscious being who is waking up to the light, then people are going to come into your world and infiltrate you. Okay, they're going to try to distract you. They're going to try to put you down into lower forms and keep this doubt and insecurity and the suppression going so that you can't be a light that shines. And you want to be like a lighthouse, okay, that shines the light out to the collective because you are shining the light from inside. And it's because you found a place of love for you, okay? Acceptance for you. You've corrected these dark places within yourself, okay? So many of you out there that watch me, you've already done this. And it's amazing because we can have these sort of days and not feel them, okay? Whenever you're tapped into the collective unconscious, you're going to perceive what the consciousness is going through, what the collective is experiencing on an emotional level, but it's not yours, and you know how to tell the difference so that you can keep on living your life as you so choose and not falling victim to the collective situation. And being the real light worker that you are, the real star seed that you are here to transform and transmute this collective shit into the age of Aquarius because this is really what it's all about, okay? So... Coming to that point where the inward power overthrows from constraints, scatters semblances, and finds something magnificent that has been untapped and forbidden for so very long. The final spark ignites, releases, and reveals. This is so the sun conjunct Chiron today. It's amazing because all of this ancient secret knowledge is not secret anymore it's our lifeline okay the reason it was secret for so long is so that the information wouldn't be tainted and abused and then guess what happened anyways the controlling powers of the world did that with it anywho right and so that's what i'm saying you know secret societies they put you through indoctrinations and it's indoctrination of the mind the body and the spirit and it is selling your soul. Whenever you journey into yourself, whenever you heal your wounds, okay, Chiron, you then initiate yourself into your own halls, into your own sacred halls of wisdom and knowledge, and you illuminate yourself. You become the illuminated, the Illuminati, you know, your own self. And that's what Illuminati actually stands for, is the illuminated ones. So you take your preconceived notions off the table. Like, I know you all just thought like, oh, Illuminati, fuck them. Yes, fuck them. But realize that the order of light is for good, okay? They have misused the power of light. You, on an individual level, have the same abilities once you are self-indoctrinated and initiated into your own truth of soul. Who are you? Where are you from? Not what is your name, like city, date, location. Who the fuck are you on a soul level? Once you answer this question, once you define what side you are on and you live from ultimate integrity, you are ultimately healed. The reveal comes. You know, this overthrowing of the constraints, of the illusion, of what the Illuminati is used, something so pure. And made it look so dark. Okay? They have completely fucked us in the mind. It's time to like actually rework the system. You know what I mean? They practice mind control on us. It's time to mind control them. You know what I mean? We are the Smiths for the Smiths. It's time for us to unite on the force of light. Okay? Stop battling yourself. Stop battling yourself. And join the fucking fight. Okay? And not the fight 
but the suppression of the dark, the organization of their darkness transmuted into the order of light. Okay, this is huge because magnificence that has been untapped and forbidden so for so very long, the final spark ignites, releases and reveals, and this is exactly what it is, okay? This ancient forbidden knowledge that was cut off from us until now, whenever we've passed the last galactic tone, whenever our manifestations and our creations are occurring every 28 days, and don't you think that the higher powers in this world that use this for the dark don't know this? They know this. That's why they're breeding our fear, our resentment, our insecurities, our suppression of self. That's why they're manufacturing it. And that's why you go to the grocery store and you buy it. Why you turn it on TV and you watch it. Be so mindful with your integrity, okay? What was lost and forgotten is more than ever and is not discouraged. Never put down. Do not ever put down your knowledge. Do not ever put down your sanctity of self, okay? This is so important. Now let's quickly move on to the degree for 21 degrees of Libra. This is where Jupiter is retrograde and where the moon is going to be today. It's going to conjunct. And so remember that Jupiter retrograde is the law of manifestation and the law of attraction season, okay? That the Jupiter retrograde is talking about how are you and who are you in relationship to yourself inside your soul. You have to know this. You have to know this. Because this Jupiter retrograde is also facing Judgment Day, okay? It's going to conjunct a star, a fixed star called Or Al Gorab, which is one of the darkest um, bad boys in the sky when it hits 13 degrees of Libra, okay? That's where it's going to station to go direct once more. Okay, so at the time, whenever Jupiter stationed to go retrograde, it conjuncted the most magnificent and gift-giving fixed star in our sky called Spica. Okay, so you started off with an A-plus on this retrograde. You will be judged as to what you do with this retrograde time of Jupiter. Jupiter is the guru planet. Okay, Jupiter is knowledge, wisdom, higher knowledge and wisdom. It rules Sagittarius. Sagittarius is where the galactic center of the universe is. I hope you're connecting the dots. Meanwhile, Saturn, who rules this 3D matrix hologram, is at the galactic center in Sagittarius at 27 degrees. And so please pay attention to this. Please, because this is very important for your own self-evolution, your own soul's evolution. Things are changing rapidly, and this is judgment, okay? So, 21 degrees of Libra, Jupiter retrograde, and the moon conjunct. A magician wearing a live snake for a belt. A mobus strip of yes into no into yes. Yes is primarily the eager embrace of sense life and a rapture of release. The no is not being able to handle, even remotely, the social repercussions of being versically empowered. The further yes is at last being able to embrace unreversibly the self that goes last in the world and the world that got lost in the self. Until this final reckoning, the no wreaks havoc. You thrash around in a frenzy of trying to spin away from reflected images and impressions. You just can't bear to hold still and be pinned in by ideas about who you are and who you are not. An elemental power and spiral vortex Action seeks to consume all false selves and to become so authentic <laughs> that each breath of experience is purely there with no interpretive filter whatsoever. This power ultimately brings everybody to the point of no longer putting up with being trapped in shallow frequencies and bust everything open or else is willing to die trying. Holy coñocito. 
Ja Rastafari. Okay, so the magician wearing a live snake for a belt. And let me just say, this is cray cray because again, this is Jupiter retrograde at 21 degrees. This is the moon conjunct at 21 degrees. The moon, our internal emotions, how we process, how we feel, how we transmit our inner world. Okay, now this is crazy because we're really supposed to be tapping into this energy today. We're really supposed to be getting a handle on it. I mean, what are the odds that Chiron is going to conjunct the sun? Or the sun is going to conjunct Chiron, let me just say that. At 24 degrees of Pisces, on the day, same fucking day, that the moon is going to conjunct Libra, Jupiter retrograde in Libra at 21 degrees and these two degrees talking about such a dramatic change, okay, such a transmutation. And so a mobile strip of yes and to no into yes, you know, and this is such a Chiron aspect. It's like we fucking continue to run around on this hamster wheel because we can't stick to our integrity and stick with our answer. You know, it's like integrity is unchangeable, right? You don't go backwards to keep going forwards, to keep going backwards, to keep going forwards. It's the fucking hamster wheel. It's the wound, okay? So this is where we're getting into recognizing where we're really wounded. Again, because the sun is going to illuminate the shit out of this bitch, okay? And then we're going to feel it so inwardly that we're not going to be able to escape this today. Yes is primal, the eager embrace of self, of sense life, and a rapture of release. The yes is primal and eager. Okay, what are our primal urges? Sex, drugs, rock and roll, those sort of things. Mm -hmm. So that is a low vibration at the same time, you know? So a sense life and a rapture of release because we need to release these primal instincts of saying yes to just whatever pops up in front of us. You know what I mean? Like, uh, don't be desperate in any way, shape, or form for a primal desire. The no is not being able to handle, even remotely, the social repercussions of being viscerally empowered. The no is not being able to handle, even remotely, the social repercussions of being viscerally empowered. Wow. Hmm. That's pretty interesting because whenever you are viscerally empowered, there are massive social repercussions, okay? I talk a lot about the RH negative blood, okay? And also, whenever you are an RH positive and you spiritually awaken, okay? Whenever you send off that beacon of light into the quantum realm, you become a focus of attack as well, just like the RH negative blood, so it's pretty interesting because that keeps a lot of people in the know. That keeps a lot of people afraid of their own power. It keeps a lot of people in the closet when it comes to spirituality because they don't want to really expose themselves to the truth. They don't want to truly awaken because the social repercussions are great for being viscerally empowered. Okay, the further yes is at last being able to embrace irreversibly the self that got lost in the world and the world that got lost in the self. So we have a really serious opportunity to wake up, okay, and to realize where we are in reference to where we need to be and say yes, okay, unreversibly the self that got lost in the world and the world that got lost in the self. Until the final reckoning, the no wreaks havoc. <laughs> it sure does, because remember that no is not being able to handle even remotely the social repercussions of being viscerally empowered. Remember that. You thrash around in a frenzy of trying to spin away from reflected images and impressions. Because guess what? Every single person you see is a reflection of self. And you are in a reflection of your vibration in this present state. The way that you change your environment is by changing your vibration. And it doesn't happen by changing the people outside of you. It happens by changing you on the inside. And it happens from understanding that this is a spiritual war that we're in. This is not a physical war. The wars, the false wars that they create in the ancient city of Babylon, Ancient Samaria, ancient Lemuria, 
take note. These are spiritual wars that are even being fought on an actual real battlefield, okay? And they are over our creation story, over our truth as a species and the many species that are here, okay? So this is amazing because you thrash around in a frenzy, okay, with these reflected impressions. So the way that you have to battle on your own fields is through releasing all of the negativity. You know, Thoth ultimately, Thoth ultimately talks about in the Emerald Tablets that the darkness cannot be entertained, okay? So yes, we come from chaos and order. We come from darkness and light. We come from a dualistic universe. But for those of you who have the mission, and you know if you have the mission, okay? I feel comfortable talking about the Emerald Tablets because I know that Thoth has a, a, a power over my channel to block anyone from hearing the message that is not allowed to hear about Thoth. If you do get through and you do hear my message about Thoth, you pick up the tablets, he will put you to sleep. You will not be able to read the tablets. You will not be able to consciously stay awake or even listen to them, okay? He will turn off your phone. He will turn off your tablet. He'll turn off your computer. He will again put you to sleep. He will distract you in the mind to where you haven't intaken any information. You will not be able to intake the message of thought if you are not in the right vibration to do so. So that's a really powerful thing because the keys are in there, but you have to be pure of soul because he talks about how he will finish your soul, not just your life, your soul. Okay. Eternal soul. This one. No mas. He will dun you if you use his information for the negative, which should be a consolation to those that understand how the Illuminati has gone wrong in this present day, right? They're going to be reckoned. And guess what? Al Gorab is going to have a pretty big say in it. So, um, yeah. Do your work in the inside. Do your, do your work on lifting yourself up out of the bondage of night. And as well, Thaw talks about freeing the ones that you know in your world that are wrapped into the bondage of the darkness, okay? You just can't bear to hold still and be pinned by ideas about who you are and who you are not. So nice to hear this sentence that we're getting sick of this question of not knowing. And so you're gonna answer it because you just can't bear to hold still and be pinned by ideas of who you are and who you are not. You know, people are always gonna be able to dictate who you are to you until you fucking figure out who you are to you, okay? Nobody can tell you anything about yourself other than you. Stop listening to other people. Take note of you. You have to know yourself, okay? The elemental power in spiral vortex action seeks to consume all false selves and be so authentic that each breath of experience is purely there with no interruptive filter whatsoever. Oh fucking shit. Okay, so cellular oscillation. That is what this elemental power in spiral vortex seeks to consume. You have to learn to speak to your cells. Okay, on a cellular level, you have to learn to oscillate your cells in order to quantumly leap, in order to travel the quantum realm. But guess what? You have to be pure of heart to do it. Okay, you cannot spark this light. That this degree is actually also a reference from the Emerald Tablets. This sentence right here, he talks about you can't do it unless you're purely of the light. You can't do it if you're still bonded to the darkness. This oscillation. This spiral vortex that seeks to consume all false selves and become so authentic that breath of experience is purely there with no interruptive filter whatsoever. Okay? Every false veil falls so hard that there's nothing that you know other than yourself. There's no thought that can enter your mind that isn't yours. And if it does, you know exactly who it's coming from. Okay? That mirror dimension and Doctor Strange, it's real. They're watching. They're implanting. They know. And who are they? Go ahead and ask. 
go ahead and answer that question for yourself because you know who they are. I don't need to tell you. This power ultimately brings everybody to the point of no longer putting up with being trapped in shallow frequencies and busts everything open or else is willing to die trying. I'm only going to read that one more time. I'm not going to break it down because the power of its truth is right there. This power ultimately brings everybody to the point of no longer putting up with being trapped in shallow frequencies and busts everything open or else will die trying. Pluto, transform now or die. It is what it is and it's important because Mars is at a powerful degree today at three degrees of Taurus, okay? And this is something that we need to pay attention to because as I mentioned, Mars is in a supportive energy with the North and the South Node until tomorrow, okay? That is also the same time frame that the Moon is going to be conjunct Jupiter retrograde and also the same time frame that the Sun is conjunct Chiron. Hmm... No coincidence in timing right now and the purification that's going to happen. There's a purging going on. And that's what the sun conjunct Chiron was talking about. The pressure valve goes off. Okay? So whatever last detox that you need to do for your soul right now so that you can just leave it all behind, this is it. This is go time. Today is the fucking day, okay? This is when your mastery of self is over, um, overtaken by the light, okay? And pushed into ultimate, ultimate, ultimate mastery of self, okay? Taurus at three degrees. Mars, a sleepwalker. Everything begins with an inward cast, and then if you wish to get anywhere, you must go there on the inside and meet yourself there when you arrive. Hmm. You feel a desire to, mem to memorize the territory of the inner ways, to remember them, to recognize them, and to be able to follow them when it counts. You feel like you've been taught in the dream state showing everything in dreamless sleep and through dreams. You're subtly and pervasively closely accompanied by a protective guiding spirit, held within the soul's embellic, entrusted to the angels, living in threshold sensitivity, attuned to the edge, led by the spirit through darkness into light, subliminal, enchanted, ancient, anxious, and at peace always searching for something more, remembering in your soul the lost earth ways and giving over to spirit. You belong to the infinite and wander through the finite worlds. You are like a stranger, knowing something else is at stake here. Something else is going on here. Something else is completely involved. I had the great privilege of reading for a client today whose sun, natal sun degree is three degrees of Taurus. And it was beautiful to read this degree and um, to see how it actually related to her. Um, yeah, you know who you are, girl. I'm talking to you. And so here's the thing about this degree is that we are all knowing, all pervasive beings who are taught not just in the waking world but in our dream world and just because of the way shit's set up we don't always give ourselves the credit that we need okay we discount ourselves so much and something like this okay something like this is an affirmation to who you are as a being okay so what I want to recommend before I really break down this degree is that everybody do what I mentioned yesterday. Go on astro.com, do your natal chart, also do your progress chart. Take those degrees of each planet, 
Google inside degrees. These are the degrees that I read from. Read each of your degrees in reference to the planet that's at that degree, okay? And see what it's saying. Do this for your progress chart as well. This is a huge moment in our time that is an awakening, a remembering, a reignition of soul mission and mastery. This is a crucial part of the puzzle. And this is also going to show you if your soul signed up to be a part of the light or it signed up to be a part of the dark. We're born out of chaos and we find order. So it's good for you to know which side you're on. So let's get into this real quick. Everything begins with an inward cast and then if you wish to get anywhere, you must go there on the inside and meet yourself there when you arrive because you are always there. This is your higher soul. You feel a desire to memorize the territory of all the inner ways, to remember them, to recognize them, and be able to follow them when it counts, which is right fucking now, okay? Because you've already memorized everywhere of this territory in this life and the inner ways that you need to go to find this right now. You feel like you've been taught in the dream state, showing everything in dreamless sleep and through dreams. Because our waking life is the dream. Our dream world is reality. You already know this. You've been put through every simulation. Stop playing games and pull out your power and use it. You're subtly and pervasively closely accompanied by a protective guiding spirit. This is seriously truth, okay? Held within the soul's embellic because it is our silver cord that allows us to astral project and come back to our body. Okay? We're held within the soul's embellic entrusted to the angels, living in the threshold, sensitivity attuned to the edge. Okay, we know the boundaries of this holographic matrix and we're trying to bust through them, but there's watchers there, okay? The ones that chase us back into our body, thank God we have that embellic. <laughs> Let's keep going. Led by the spirit through darkness into light. Sound a little bit like Thoth coming back today in multiple ways? Subliminal, enchanted, anxious, and at peace because peace is the all-prevailing. Always searching for something more. We must, right? Remember in your soul the lost earth ways and giving over to spirit. You belong to the infinite and wander through the finite worlds. Relinquish your 3D. Embrace your 5, 6, 7D. Embrace your higher self. Invoke your mission right now, okay? You are like a stranger knowing something else is at stake here. Hmm. Because you know you're different, right? Something else is going on here. Something else is completely involved. And I'm going to leave it right here today. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Please go meditate on this statement right here. And go. Check out your chart. Do all that. Come back tomorrow. I will see you then, okay? Job bless. Absorb my life Let me illuminate you Close your eyes